All right, y'all. So we are in Simio again. Uh, what I'm going to show you is how to keep track of a wait time for multiple different entity types. So if I were to run the simulation, this server would keep track of, I go to results, the server would keep track of the input buffer holding time. This average time and station, this doesn't, this doesn't differentiate between entity types. So what I need to do is I need to keep track of a few pieces of information. So let's go back to the facility view. We have four different entity types. This is from the uh, lesson 13 model start file uh, with four different entity types in the emergency department. What would be helpful to calculate the waiting time would be for each entity. The difference between when they showed up at the at the queue, this input server node and immediately before they start processing. So the difference between those two times would be the wait time. What we're going to do is we're going to actually give each model entity its own state variable and say keep track of the time that you started waiting. So if I go over to model entity, click on that. Under the definitions tab, so you might be under processes, but under the definitions tab, you see that there's a lot of options for different types of variables. What we're going to do is going to create a real state variable. So I clicked real, and that is going to be the time start wait. And I'm going to change the unit type to time. And the initial value is going to be zero. We don't really care about that, but every single entity will have these three state variables. These first two are defaults. This one is one that we created, and it's the time that each entity started waiting. But we have to assign this to occur. We have to assign the calculation or the uh, the assignment of the variable to occur. So we go back to the model. So I click here on the right model. At this node, you can see I clicked on this node. You have a couple options. State assignment is what we want to do. So if I click on the, the expansion here and then on, on entering, it's going to trigger a state variable assignment. So I click in here and I have three dots. Now I have the ability to add, add a state variable assignment. So what is the state variable name? If I click the drop down, I can start to type in filter time. Ah, time start wait. Model entity dot time start wait because it is a state variable of the model entities. And what is the time in simulation that they started waiting? Well, each of them is going to be triggered at a different time, but the time that it is triggered is the current time or time now in the simulation. So time now is the time in the simulation that they started waiting. And this will trigger once the entity enters, enters, the entity enter, entering the input at server one. So if I close this, what this is saying is every single time an entity enters here, change the value of a state variable. OK, cool. So now every entity, regardless of type, is going to have that state variable time start wait tracked. In order to keep track of all of the different waiting times by entity type, we're going to have to create a bin to store these observations in. And the bin that we're going to store them in is called a tally statistics. So let's go up to definitions. So we're in the model definitions. And under elements, this is an element of the model. There is a thing called a tally statistic. This thing may be used to record and report statistics on a set of observed values. That sounds like what we want. Let's call this tally statistic. Wait time. All right, the unit type is time. OK, so wait time is going to keep track of the entities. Time that they spent waiting, so this is just an empty bin ready to to keep track of a bunch of different observations, and then it will report some statistics in our results tab at the end. OK, so let's go back to the facility. When do we want? to say this entity has stopped waiting. Well, it is kind of nuanced, but it's after they leave the line, but immediately before processing. So if we click on the server block. Well, we don't have the ability to do any tally st statistics. 
Now, I might uh, must mention this, that this is one way of doing it, but this is a way that I know works. Um, you could theoretically uh, do a tally statistic here upon exiting, um, but I have uh, experienced some difficulties with that. So you could right here add and tally if entity exited, tally statistic is what? It's wait time, the value is an expression, uh, and the expression would be whatever the current time is, minus the model entity, I kind of tab complete, uh, dot start time, start wait, I think is what it's called. Start wait, yeah, okay. So this is a way to do it. Let's see if this works. So if I run this simulation, Let's see the wait time. Yeah, so you can see that it says zero, and I don't know why I'm experiencing this issue. However, if I go back to the facility, I'm going to uh, stop the simulation, and I'm going to delete that tally statistic. Let's do it the way that I envisioned doing it initially. I'm going to use process logic. We don't have the ability to do any tally statistic here inside the server, but if I go to add on process triggers, you, you can see that there are a lot of different moments in time and simulation events that I can trigger this event. And we're going to trigger an event before processing. Now, what is the process that we're going to trigger? What is the logic? Let's go to process. Let's create a new process. This process is going to be in general. Alc wait time. All right, and in order to calculate the wait time on the left hand side here, I have some options for steps. I'm going to use the tally step. I'm going to click, hold and drag. And this tally step is going to adjust the tally statistic wait time. What is it going to adjust it to? We just use that same expression, but it is the current time in the simulation minus the model entity. Entity dot start oh, time start wait. All right. And that will be units and minutes. OK, so this logic is like a function. This process here is exactly like a function in order to call the function or reference it. I will assign calc wait time to be triggered in the facility view. OK, so this logic says, hey, anytime this is triggered, tally up, add to the tally statistic, a new observation, which is time now minus that model entity's time start wait. Back in the facility, here at the server block, I've selected the server block, so you can see that the server block is shown, shown here. I go down to add on process triggers and expand that. Before processing, click on calc wait time. All right, so now immediately before processing, but before any processing has occurred, we're going to initiate this logic. All right, now let's run simulation. I click fast forward, go to the end. Okay, now I'm getting some observations. Wait time average in minutes, 67 minutes. Let's go look down here at server one. Input buffer average time and station 67 minutes. Yes. So verified that I have the correct calculation with my own created tally statistic. Now you said, well, aren't we supposed to get it by entity type? Indeed we are. But I first wanted to show you that this logic, this tally statistic logic works. Now what we can do instead of just having one tally statistic for the entire model, we can create multiple. So I'm going to stop the run so I can make some changes here. And I'm going to create four tally statistics, one for every entity type. So this first wait time I will call, let's call this wait time routine. Okay. This next tally statistic I will call wait time moderate and this next tally statistic i will call wait time severe and then this last one i will call wait time urgent 
believe those are the four different types. And I should also change my unit type to time for each of these. So you see I'm going back to change this because I didn't do it initially. Unit type, time, unit type, time. OK, so now I have four bins. And these four different bins are ready to receive observations. So how am I going to adjust this process logic? Well, what I can do is I can add a common step called decide. This is just basically like an if block. And this says, hey, decide based on some logic, true or false. If it's true, go this way. If it's false, go this way. So this decide block, it'd be condition based. And what is the condition? Well, the condition is model entity dot entity type is equivalent to routine. So this logic says, hey, evaluate this expression, model entity dot entity type. Whenever an entity type shows up, it'll say, well, is this routine? If it equals this value on the other side or if it's equivalent to, it will say this evaluates as true and then it'll advance this way. And this tally block will tally the wait time for routine. So now let's add in some more decisions and more tally blocks. So if it's not routine, then uh, let's copy paste. So I go back to this one and I'll control A, control C, go back to this decide block. And the condition is going to be not if the mod model entity type is routine, but if it is moderate. You see that's another option there. Tab complete, hit enter. OK, and let's do another decide. Decide. Not if it's routine or moderate, but if it is Let's just say urgent. OK. All right, and then if it is not any of those, it is going to be severe. So um, I'm going to add in a tally block here. Oh, see, so drag it over this way. This tally statistic is after the bridge uh, or the branch for moderate. So I'm going to say wait time moderate and the new expression is going to be. I'll copy the same logic from up here. Copy. And then I will paste it here. Uh, oh, it didn't select everything that I wanted. It is time now minus model entity dot start wait. That is the formula. I'm going to copy that and the unit is in minutes. Right, let's do another tally block. This one is deciding if it is urgent or not. OK, so then this tally statistic will be. Wait time urgent and the new expression will be Time now minus model entity dot time start wait. I can do the last one it will be just a tally step. So if it's not routine, moderate or urgent, it is going to be severe. So then you can tally that. And I will put that logic in there. OK, now what this is going to do is every single time in the facility view when calc wait time is triggered, it will run through this this branch of logic and we'll say, well, what entity type is it? So that I can make sure that I am only tallying observations for that entity type. Now, as you can see back in the facility view at server block, we didn't have to change anything here. This reference to calc wait time, the name of this function, if you will, didn't change. So the triggering event still is before processing and it will reference this same logic. So now if we run this, and go to results tab. You can see that now my model has four different tally types, tally statistics. You can see that um, they all have some average wait time here, right? Uh, this model does not include prioritization, which I'll talk about in another video, but you can see how now we can track each individual entity types. Wait time. All right. I hope that was helpful and uh, good luck.